Welcome to the vlog. I think it was time that I did another vlog. It's been a couple of weeks. It's flown by really. I've been busy working. Well, work that I've not actually been paid for, to be honest. A bit of development, trying new things for the future. Trying to make a few different baits, new suppliers, things like that, you know. But a lot of people struggled during lockdown getting work. So I've used the time to do a bit of development, trying new hook baits for instance, trying to make my fishing a little bit more easier. It's nice to try new things, but sometimes it's just good to get out, enjoy a little bit of food with good company. I mean, I love cooking on the bank, but now I've got somebody doing it for me and it's, it's a lot easier. But I don't get chance now because she, Deborah that is, she really enjoys doing a bit of uh, cooking on the bank. The alfresco dining. Well, enough of that. Let's uh, try and catch a fish. We've got here late afternoon, getting ready for the evening, the prime time for fishing. Currently fishing catapult range, which is about what 50 yards, 40, 50 yards. Um, nice scattering, 25 yards on some crab, and I'm going to be fishing a Ronnie rig. But I fish the Ronnie rig with a wafter this time, so the wafter just lifts up the shank of the hook, so the point just sits on the floor. And by the time the Ronnie rig takes on some water, it'll then drop down onto the shank of the hook. That's how I like to fish them, because too many times I've used a wafter, and the next thing you know, you've found the wafter is sitting on the floor and not lifting off the deck at all. Debs is currently with me, she's currently making tea, she's being the mother hen thing where she just uh, makes a little kitchen out in the wilderness and we're currently having hot dogs. Not a big dinner but at least we both enjoy hot dogs. She's also got some new reels, she's gone for some NGT, 9000s, the big pit ones, the massive ones and she's not looked to, to break the bank on him because she thought you know what in 12 months time what she's going to do is be changing him for something a little bit better but she wanted something a little bit more substantial because later on this year we're going to France and we're going to be going to about 160 yards on this lake we're going to be fishing and she needs to make sure she's happy not only that before she was also using um a big pit which had the clutch system on the front of the spool and you had to tighten the front of the spool up when you got a fish she found that a little bit tricky to do she couldn't quite get used to it when she got a run so with a bait runner that's what she's gone for is a bait runner style um, now she can reel the handle and click it in place and she's straight into the fish and hopefully she won't lose any fish because she lost a few because of that and she was a bit upset so we decided that all round it was best for it to go in a bait runner kind of reel. Now I know what bait runner is, is a word used by Shimano let's just call it a free spool system on the reel so uh, I always get that wrong with certain things a lot of people call reels bait runners when the reality of it's a trademark of Shimano. Right let's carry on with the vlog and it's listen it's good to see you again don't forget smash that right hand side subscribe put a comment below what kind of reel did you first start out with and what what you want now, what kind of reel are you using now? Because we've all got to start somewhere, don't we? And he uh, managed to back himself up. So, let's see what the night brings. Have you seen this sabotage going on right here? Look! Oh, hungry. I've been for the gentleman's visit to the throne, you know, the first thing in the morning call of God. And this one here is having a wonderful time feeding the ducks. Which is really great, but problem is, <clears throat> I've not got my rods in the water. And those ducks are going to be diving down for the next few hours, aren't they? Oh. Here they are. It's sabotage. They'll go now. This is, they'll go now. 
Right, babe, let me do, let me feed the ducks in front of your rod. See what happens. Oh, that won't happen, will it? Sabotage. You just go for two minutes. The competition begins. Do you know what really does? Do you know what really does help you swim a lot? Do you know to get the swim going a lot? I'm going to put some sweat, some soap in your water in your swim to clean the water for the fish to, to come to the clean water for you. I'll, I'll soak the swim for her. So they're going now. What they're going now? You can't write it, can you? Witching hour. This, this is the time of night when it starts to happen. It's about an hour before the sun sets. Now, sadly, I tend not to get fish at this time, and I used to many years ago, but currently I just don't seem to get one. I tend to get them in the middle of the night. Strangely, two o'clock, one o'clock in the morning, or first light, or just before first light. Never four o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. I've just put some corn down here in the margin, right there at the end of that tree with my little fingers waggling there. And I'm still fishing over a bed of boilie, right out there. About 40, 50 yards. Now that's a prime little spot for me that I've had plenty of fish from there. It's nice though, I'm enjoying getting out. I've had a, I've had quite a tough week to be fair. Yeah, it's been quite a tough week. Since we've got come out of lockdown, work's been harder to find. I've been having to struggle to get the work in. And there's a lot of people who've got the same problem. And then you get some people where, due to the nature of the work, are absolutely mowed out, mobbed, just coining it in. And I, I wish I was on that kind of work, but it's, it's very difficult very difficult Debs is on it there she's stood over her rods waiting for it to happen looking at her new reels do you love those reels she's been after big reels since after lockdown monster reels she's really wanted them reels got big rods, 13 foot, 13 half foot rods. She's got black bank sticks now. And she's going to be changing her alarms very soon. She wants a carpy cradle, she's going to get one of them next. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> just got to catch a fish now. Exactly, that's what they call TikTok apparently, that's what she's uh, into at the moment. TikTok and fishing, now there's a combination, isn't it? Fishing on TikTok, that's not happening, I'll tell you that much. Right, I'm currently catapulting because I can't use a spod. About 40, 50 yards, and it's kind of really distracting when you've got Deb's trying to do TikTok on the, just over there, just jumping around like a little that ten year old too, do you know what I mean? If, if you just see like this woman in her fifties doing TikTok, kind of amusing. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've got that look like I'm not getting breakfast. So what you've got out there is just fish and water. <laughs> it's fish and water out there, believe it or not, and I've got some baits out there as well. With a knock on on the baits, no on its own and they, they you know, you know the rest. Oh. What else you do on these vlogs? I mean, I've got to be honest, doing these vlogs can be a little bit um, the same as, same as. There are some fish feeding out there. I should hope so. There's a lot of water and there's a lot of fish. Right. Let's do some real re real shenanigans, you know, where I do close ups of kettles boiling and that kind of thing, you know? 
I wish I could make these vlogs more exciting and I wish I had a team of people videoing me to make it more interesting because it's difficult when you've got one camera and you've got to do all the work. If you've got loads of people, it looks spectacular and I just don't have that. Well, it's currently morning, nothing through the night except for about half a dozen like kind of bleeps in the margin. I think that was just small, like bream, that kind of thing. Um, I just think, but I never had a bream out of here, so I don't even know whether that was a bream or not. But I had a few knocks and bangs on the rods, a couple of bleeps up and down. No fish, no fish whatsoever. But to be honest, this session is just about escaping. Um, in some of my other vlogs, I talked about mental health, and sometimes when you've got to pay all your bills and you come out of lockdown working, um, it's not quite the same as it was before. And when I've seen my own customers, and it's a bit of a strange one to talk about this when you're fishing, and I'm trying not to talk about work when I'm fishing, the, all my suppliers and the people I need to buy products of, stocks are depleted, because in January, the Chinese locked down for three months, and we locked down for three months, so when everybody decided to order bits and pieces after lockdown, everything got wiped out, which was great. It was like a a false new dawn if that makes sense and you might be in the same situation and now a couple of weeks on I can't get all the stuff so I've been stressed all week trying to get things done on time for people and I, I just can't manage it because it's just it's not practical or possible at the moment hence why just getting out fishing and just escaping has been really detriment to my mental health um, I don't know what I bang on about that, but we need something in our lives to make us escape from the world and this is one of my escapes. You know, I don't go football anymore, I don't go drinking or I don't go to festivals and gigs and that kind of thing. So what I do now is just go fishing all the time and do these silly little vlogs. Because let's be honest, they're just silly little vlogs. Right. I decided as well that I'm going to be, from this morning, I'm going to be fishing one in a PVA bag and one with about four baits and a little um, PVA mesh, a cord of PVA mesh. And I just cast over a catapulted area as well. So I'm keeping things nice and simple. One's a Ronnie rig and one's a bottom bait rig with uh, a dumbbell, a crab dumbbell. And tipped with a bit of maize, because I put some maize corn in the side. Um, just you know, nothing's happening too much so, so far. I've also looked at the barometer. I've got a... Um, there's a point. I've got a van that I've been kitting out for a cart bus. We'll have a look at that now. Welcome to the van. This is the van I've actually built for fishing purposes. I've also kitted it out with energy as well, power, and the storage, the storage in there as well. So in that part there, Underneath the seats, I've got storage for bits and pieces. Now this box here, this big box here, all of this is where I store the, uh, the water, the food on the other side of the sliding door, power and dry clothes as well. All I've got to do now is just put all my kit actually into the van every time I go fishing. When the kit's not in, I've got everything I need. I've got the sink, areas to tie the rigs on, I've got storage there, I can put the pots up there, I've got the microwave, TV, there's a table that comes in here as well, get the waders out of the way, that's it, that was my project was to sort this van out as a day van stroke fishing van. Well what a bizarre 24 hours, we've actually worked at that haven't we? Tried every little trick in the book to get a bite, but not having it. Had a bivvy away now, aren't we? Yes. Ooh, the ducks are back. Are they? Yeah, I've got a little Miss Doolittle here and the ducks. <laughs> but, um, I looked at the barometer when I went back to the van before, and literally, it was off the scale, it was really high. And we all know high, high pressure doesn't do very well or doesn't bode well fishing so as a result of that okay. it's rubbish isn't it no fish mm. this is what happens 
sometimes it's just fishy just no matter what you do I had a couple of knots last night in the margins and pretty much pretty much that was it so it's full on 24 hours fishing nada nada nothing whatsoever you got your wonky top on I see <laughs> it's not wonky we had some t-shirts printed during lockdown for a company that was going to start selling the t-shirts and hoodies and caps and things like that with and uh, all I can say is the that there it's, it don't, it's at an angle like that oh. yeah so, so the all the tops that we've got were at an angle like that what more can I say not an interesting vlog by any means I, I really want these <laughs> you can set out to do these kind of vlogs and you have a list of things you want to do and sometimes all you want to do is just go fishing and just chill out and just relax and I can't be bothered I mean I could have showed you how to tie a rig how to tie that you know could have done pasture of the day or whatever it is <laughs> look at me when you say that yeah am I the chief cook the chief cook here Um very sexist so don't forget fing hit that subscribe button you know the rest is yadi 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 comment below chat 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 sometimes it's just good to get out fishing into it uh, and all the fish are on the top swimming around it's one there right now just swimming around Agitating the thoughts of why I'm not catching today. Nothing jumping out, just swimming around. Do you know what? I'm starting to realise why some vloggers in fishing do the vlog 1 to 743. Uh, because pretty much that's that's where you get stuck with. You can do the odd how-to kind of thing going on, but it is where it is. It's fishing. Hmm. You can't win them all, can you? Mm. Big catch. No fishes. But we've gone out and enjoyed ourselves. Right. See you on the rest of the vlog, and now we're using the van. It's a lot easier as well. well I just got you, I yeah, no. Oh. On top of actually having the uh, the barra, we're going to start doing some of the waters now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. What you can get a fork? Fork. <laughs> sure, you can get a fork. Definitely no. not. <laughs> Right, on that note, <laughs> see you in the next vlog. <laughs>